this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 36. In this video tutorial, I am going to talk about how to find empty or blank log files in active log space. This slide talks about the problem. The problem is we want to find empty or blank log files in active log space. Before getting into the solution, certain things for consideration. A DB2 transaction log files are binary and pre-allocated. So since it's a binary file, if you open the file, it's not going to have any readable characters or anything like that. So opening the file and saying, uh, you know, it's 50% uh, blank or 25% blank, it, it's not going to help us out. And it is also a pre-allocated file. So the default logs file size is 4 MB per file. And that particular uh, uh, file will be allocated completely, like 4 MB will be allocated completely upfront itself. So you cannot say based on the file size, like if it is 2 MB, then it is 50% full. If it is 3 MB, it is 75% full. So that, that way of uh, deduction is also not possible. Okay. So it, the entire 4 MB will be allocated upfront. And uh, there is another administration view, sys IBM ADM dot log underscore utilization admin view. So this will help you to find out what is the total log space and the free space available. Uh, using this, you can calculate the free space equivalent in terms of uh, number of log files like for example if there are 10 primary log files then the total log space will be 40 mb and the free space is 20 mb let's say for a uh, for the discussion then 20 mb by 4 mb will be 5 so we can just say 5 number of log files are free but we cannot say identify the individual file names or the ranges of file names that are uh, blank okay so the solution is to use the command db2 flsn so flsn means find log sequence number so db2 flsn hyphen db db name the option hyphen lsn range followed by log file number okay or you can also another variation of the same command you can pass the start log number and the end log number okay uh, how this command works what is the logic behind this is like every uh, transaction uh, when when it is initiated there will be log records corresponding to those transactions and every log record will have a log sequence number associated with it what this command is actually doing is it is trying to find or display the particular log sequence numbers which are stored inside a, a transactional log file that is the purpose of the command so we can infer from that like if there is no lsn numbers inside the log file then that particular log file is empty or blank log file so that's how we are actually dedu dedu deducing the information okay so let's quickly get into some examples to demonstrate okay so here actually i have uh, the db2 instance up and running and there is an active database test okay uh, now I can just, uh, one option is to run this command db2 flsn hyphen db db name hyphen lsn range. Just simply like that I can run. Okay, so it is having s00.log, 1.log, 2, 3, 4. So total 5 log files from 0 to 4 and all are blank log files. So it will, it, it is uh, going to, uh, this particular command is going to say whether it is used or unused uh, or blank. And uh, if some log sequence numbers are there, it's going to display the range of log sequence numbers. That's what this command is doing. So currently all the files are blank. Okay. Uh, and I can use a different variation of this also. Like if I want particularly to find out if that particular uh, file, if I want to give for like say like this, 4 means only the log file 4 will be analyzed. So S00.4 log only will be analyzed. And uh, here it is again blank. And I can give a range of uh, files also. See here I'm saying start log and end log three and five like that. So which means that uh, it will analyze three, four, actually five is not there. So I'm going to say like uh, two and four, which means two, three, four, all these three log files only will be analyzed. It will not analyze the rest of the log files. It, it's just simple variations of the same command. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll uh, connect to the test database we'll insert a log record, uh, we'll insert a, a particular uh, record into a particular table and do connect reset, okay? So this is what we are doing here now. Okay, so it's done. So we saw that uh, s00.log is a unused blank log file. Since we have initiated a transaction, now it should have uh, something in it, right? Yeah, see here, s00.log is now no more empty uh, because it, it's not a blank file because some log records has been written into it because of that particular transaction, the insert query we ran. So some log records have been inserted into, into this s00.log. So once the s00.log gets full, one will get uh, full, then two will get full. So it's going to follow uh, whether it is circular logging or is it, 
ఆర్ కెవెల్ లాగింగ్ ఇట్ డజన్ మ్యాటర్ సో ఇట్ ఇట్ వర్క్స్ ఫర్ బోత్ ద కేసెస్ బట్ ఓన్లీ యాక్టివ్ లాగ్ స్పేస్ విల్ బీ యూ నో స్కాండ్ ఫర్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఓకే సో దిస్ ఈస్ దాట్స్ ఇట్ ప్రెడీ మచ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ స్ట్రేట్ ఫార్వర్డ్ రైట్ సో వీ నౌ ఫౌండ్ దాట్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఆర్ బ్లాంక్ లాగ్ ఫైల్స్ అండ్ జీరో ఇస్ ది ఓన్లీ లాగ్ ఫైల్ విచ్ ఈస్ అ నాన్ ఎమ్ టీ లాగ్ ఫైల్ దట్ దట్ వాజ్ అవర్ అబ్జెక్టివ్ ఓకే so as you in a real time database you will you will see that you know uh, the it it might be in 2 dot log or it might be in 3 dot log whatever like the transactions might be filling up to that only from 4 5 6 will be empty like that so in real time scenarios it, it will be really useful to find out uh, so the command is db2flsn so i hope it was useful for you uh, that's it in this video tutorial thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel db2luw academy uh, see you in the next tutorial thanks bye bye